Hey, everybody. Sorry, I'm trying to hook up my phone and my speaker. <clears throat> How's everybody doing today? Come on in. I actually started on time today. <laughs> so, um... I plan to get done on time today, at least before uh, Empire comes on. I believe Empire comes on at 7 o'clock. So hopefully um, we should be done with this live before the end, before this conversation. If not, you know, we won't, but I got a DVR, so it is recorded. But anywho, make sure you guys come on in and like the video on your way in and um, share the video. Make sure you share the video to your platform, whether it's, uh, oh Lord, somebody just sent me a message. Whether it's on uh, Instagram, Twitter, or, hold on y'all. <laughs> okay, whether it's on Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook. Make sure you please um share share the live. And if you just happen to be scrolling through, peek, peeking in from the sidelines, go ahead and subscribe. Why not? <laughs> please and thank you. But um, as you can see uh, from the title of this live, we're going to be discussing what's been trending on YouTube and on other social media platforms, um, like today and yesterday, uh, we're going to be discussing the incident between Michelle, what was I about to say, K. Michelle? Michelle Brown, Michelle A-T-L-E-N, A-T-L-E-N, and Brown, and uh, Funky Doniva, Funky, Funky, Funky Doniva. So I definitely want to know um, how you guys feel about the situation. I got the phone lines on. I'll also briefly go over um, the situation for those of you who might have been hiding under a rock for the last like 24 to 36 hours. Um, I'm trying to wait till some more people get in the room before we really jump into it. But uh, hit me up in the chat. Let me know what you think about it. Um, let me know who's in the room because obviously, of course, um, can't tell who's watching. I can see y'all watching, but I can't tell who's watching. So um, hit me up in the chat. Let me know what's going on. Um, but this is like really crazy um, what's going on in these YouTube streets lately. It's actually been a lot of stuff going on in these YouTube streets lately. Um, some stuff I touch, some stuff I don't, some stuff I just sit back, eat my popcorn, um, sip from my big blue cup. And as usual, you never know what's in the cup. Could be water, could be juice, could be late, you know, late, late, Kool-Aid. You don't never know what's in the cup. Anyway, and I'd rather not say because people be getting dragged all through the YouTube streets. If you drink tea, if you drink coffee, if you drink wine, if you drink liquor, if you <laughs> I'm like, gee whiz. <laughs> Just don't drink. Just don't drink live on YouTube and you'll be all right. <laughs> but anyway, um, as far as what's been going on lately, um, there was a video made the other day on um uh what's her name tk's channel if y'all follow along y'all know who i'm talking about um of the very controversial lady on her channel uh funky doniva was on there because recently um him and maddie They've been on, I guess, the Queen Supreme Court tour, and they had a date, an event in D.C. You know, I think it was probably about, I can't even remember. I even watched the show. I can't remember, like, 
maybe three weeks or a month ago. Um, something like that. But anywho, and he had called Beyonce and Jay-Z's daughter, Blue Ivy, ugly. Yes, U-G-L-Y. You ain't got no alibi, you ugly. Absolutely ugly. Um, he called her ugly. Uh, now, in the comedic world, which uh, I believe Funky thinks he is a comedic um, commentator, um, like a lot of people on YouTube, they might refer to themselves as a comedic commentator. And in the comedic world that we know of or that we have known in the past, that could have been okay. It could have absolutely been fine. People would have laughed. People would have kiki. People would have made other jokes about it, put a spin on it in their own comedy routines. I mean, you'd be discussing it at lunch. Oh, did you see the latest, you know, funky video? You know, this, I'm just saying, in the comedic world, in the past, it probably would have been quite all right. Quite all right. I mean... The, I'm talking about like the Richard Pryor days, y'all, <laughs> where it was no host bars. You could talk about somebody's mama, they daddy, they dead dog, they grandma in the hospital. I mean, you could talk about anybody. But these days, people are so overly sensitive. And granted, there are some things that we should be overly sensitive with. But what a lot of people have a problem with is where do we, when do we call the shots when it's gone too far? Like, it's been a lot of words in the YouTube streets about, oh, okay, well, this person can talk about this person's child over here, and nobody says nothing, absolutely nothing, absolutely nothing. But then when you talk about this other person's child over here, the whole world to stop what it's doing and then just started throwing jaggers at the person's head who made the joke. That's the case right now with Funky Deneva. And I'm not saying if he went too far on his joke. As far as I know, it was a joke. Um, I don't think it was like that he meant something behind it or, you know, he... Um, I, I just think it was a, a bad, tasteful joke. That's it. Um, he claims he didn't even know he did it. Like, I guess he was probably, you know, they'd be on that alcohol. Like I said, I don't know what Maddie be putting in that drink shoe. Um, <laughs> I would like to find out, though. She be mixing that concoction every time she goes <laughs> live on Monday nights. And I'm like, dang, what does she be putting in there? Because sometimes them people be on that podium just like toe back, like toe back. <laughs> so um, he claims he didn't even realize that he said it until the beehive started coming at him. Um, you know, all Bay's fans, and I like Bay. I like Jay Z. I'm not a huge fan of Bay, but I am a huge fan of Jay Z. Um, but yeah, the beehive um started coming after him and dragging him and. Telling him he need to apologize and he was wrong and this, that, and the third. Um, again, I think it was just a distasteful joke. I don't think there was any uh, anything, you know, behind it as far as... I mean, Blue... Because Blue Ivy ain't ugly. I mean... Come on, y'all. Y'all... <laughs> I'm sorry, but probably 99% of the population then call somebody's child either unattractive, ugly, or you just say shit like, oh, look at that precious child. Oh, such a cute outfit. I like that bow red in their head. Oh my God, there's some cute little J's. You know, let's be honest here. But I think, you know, a lot of people came down on him harder just because of who it is. Beyonce and Jay-Z's child. And, like, people keep comparing the two incidents from when he was, uh, when he had called, um, Kaya's, 
uh, grandson retarded or tart or something like that. I think that was much worse. Um, like a lot of people are saying, I think that was way much worse to call a child retarded versus calling a child um, ugly. Because then you have where you're basically talking about a child, and I don't know if Kyle's, if Kaya's child has some kind of mental um, issues or anything. I follow Kaya. I think Kaya is funny as heck, like funny as heck. Um, and I used to follow her and Maddie when they used to have the original Queen's Court. Um, and then, of course, the two divided, and I still sometimes watch them both. Um, but I think what he did then, and that's what a lot of people have an issue with is, okay, this is Kaya. Um, a lot of people don't like Kaya. Um, a lot of people do. She does have a big following. No matter what you think about Kaya, she still has a big following. Um, her, her music might not be top tens on the radio stations all over the world, but she still makes music. I do believe she still makes money off of her music, <laughs> especially my neck and my back. Um, but my thing was, why does it have to be a huge celebrity for us to get mad at someone? And this was an opinion, an opinion. Okay, maybe he shouldn't have called a baby ugly, but it was his opinion. It was totally his opinion. Now, as far as him calling um, uh, Kaya's grandson retarded, now that was mean. That was mean, like mean. I mean, it's, it's mean to call a grown person uh, retarded, but as far as a baby, I would have thought the backlash, the outpour, you know, from, you know, all, all the fans, even his own fans, because even some of Funky's own fans was like, hey, you went too far, bro. You went too far, you know, calling Blue Ivy ugly. Um, and I don't think I've seen a picture of Blue Ivy in a long time. I just... I don't know. I just don't follow uh, Beyonce like that. She's a great artist. She's a great dancer. I got hair in my face. Sorry. I got hair in my face. But I don't, I just don't follow. I'm not a huge fan of Bass. Again, I'm a huge fan of Jay-Z. Just not Bass. Uh, but, um, you know what? I still think it was wrong for him to call the baby ugly. But I think maybe it... it <laughs> How can I say this? <laughs> it was wrong. I'm going to just leave it at that. It was wrong. But I think it was kind of taken out of context because the I watched the show and I think it was kind of taken out of context. It was just bad taste. Just bad taste. Just a bad joke. I don't think he should be crucified. So let me put it that way. I don't think he should have been crucified. If you was going to crucify him, you should have crucified him when he called Kaya's grandson retarded. Because let's say he does have some uh, mental um, issues. And... You know, let's just say he does. That would be, that's awful. That's evil to say something like that about somebody's baby, grandchild, niece, nephew. You know what I'm saying? Um, period. Like, period. But he wasn't crucified then. It was a kiki, a ha-ha, and we moved on, and it was quickly forgotten. But now that it's Beyonce's child and Jay-Z's child, um... He gets hung, like hung and dragged. Now, <laughs> um, I, this 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 video has two parts. Um, the first part I wanted to talk about was Funky and what you guys thought about his apology. If you thought he really didn't know what he did or what he said, because he said he didn't, you know, on a uh, TK show. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I happened to watch her show like a few days ago. Um, and I was like, what? 
I didn't. I mean, I had. I watched the 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 show on DC, and so much stuff happened. Like so much stuff happened. I had like totally forgot that he even said that. I mean, I really totally forgot that he. And I wasn't drunk. I Maddie didn't fix me nothing. <laughs> I just forgot. Maybe because I watched too many videos, or because I got you know jobs and stuff and kids to take care of. You know, Christmas shopping getting ready for my son's graduation, colleges, all that, you know, I forgot, but it was brought back to my memory when I start seeing it, you know, on these YouTube streets, and then I watched TK's video, and I'm like, oh, wow, he called Blue Ivy ugly, oh, wow, hmm, it ain't like nobody called somebody's child before ugly, and again, I'm not saying, I'm not giving him a pass on that, I'm just saying, it's crazy, how you can get away with one thing when it's one artist, one celebrity, or one person in general, even if neither one of them were celebrities. I mean, it's just crazy how he he basically got away with saying that. Maybe a few people was out there talking about it, but it wasn't like it was now. It was not like it was now. And so he felt the need to apologize which I think was a good thing for him to apologize. But a lot of people think it was just done just because you were being dragged. You know, you were being dragged. The beehive was coming after you. Other people coming after you. People making videos about it. You know, some people say it was just because of that. And then a lot of people say it wasn't sincere at all. Um, the video, I don't know what happened to the video. If he took it down, I, I don't know. Accidentally deleted it. I don't know, but, um, I couldn't find the video, <laughs> uh, but you know what? Um, then that leads me up to the next topic. The next topic, which happens to be, uh, Michelle Brown. I follow Michelle Brown. I follow Funky. I follow Maddie. I follow Kaya. I follow a lot of people. Some people, Sometimes people don't, you know, prefer to follow some of them. Um, but they all have a pretty big, nice size following. Some have more than others, but they all have a pretty nice size following, no matter what you feel about them. Um, and I happened to be watching Michelle Brown's channel the other day. And I have to say, it's just crazy how things just, just spin. It's, it's crazy how the tables turned. Like, at first, everybody was dragging, um, let me get a drink from the blue cup. Mmm, thirsty. But at first, everybody was dragging Funky. And, oh, you know, you so wrong. You, uh, call that baby, uh, that baby ain't ugly. You know, da-da-da-da, you need to apologize. You know, people... Talking about they gonna unsubscribe from him because they have no more respect for him and blah 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 blah. Even though Funky has no problem in the past, like I said, talking about people because he's a comedic commentator. Um, there are some things that are very questionable that I have even looked at him side eye like, what did he just say? But. <laughs> Like, almost every single person I follow, I didn't look at them side eye and was like, what did they just say? <laughs> so, I mean, nobody on these YouTube streets, I think, you know, are, are perfect. Everybody makes mistakes. I think this was a mistake he made. Um, he didn't, I don't know if he didn't really realize he did it or not, but... <sighs> I don't think it was said out of anger or said out of malice or said, you know what I'm saying? It was taste. It was very bad taste, very bad taste. But it's just crazy how the table turned because everybody first was going in on him and talking about unsubscribing all this whoop, 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 and you need to apologize. And then it went from that to, okay, he apologized. Then everybody's like, oh, it wasn't sincere. He didn't really mean it. You know, it was just like he did it just to make people shut up. I even heard that he just did it to um, divert people from another situation that was trending in these YouTube streets regarding Justin J, who had 
openly admitted on YouTube recently, very recently, that he was HIV positive. And it's been alleged that him and Funky had a relationship and that he possibly may be also HIV infected, allegedly. Not my words. Not my words. Now, um, it's crazy how the tables turn because first they was going in on him and then after Mich after uh Michelle Brown, AT Elliot's video, um, she had made a video the other day. And most of you guys who follow Funky and Dun and uh Michelle, y'all already know the story. I'm not gonna go all back it down through uh memory lane you know with the story but the short version is um michelle owned property her and him used to be friends she rented to him he didn't pay the bills he didn't pay the rent she had to take him to court she won in court he never showed up she won and she probably would have won even if he did show up so i don't think that's neither here nor there but she won that case. <laughs> like I say, that case. Um, and she's talked about it openly on her channel. And some people, you know, dragged her for doing that. Like, I, I firmly believe that you cannot tell anybody how to feel about a situation. And like I said in my video earlier today, I firmly believe that you cannot tell a person how to feel about a situation when somebody wrongs you, how to retaliate, how to get back, how to um, get revenge, how to act, how to feel. How I mean, what to say, you just can't because you don't know what it's like to be in that person's shoes. And unless you have been in their shoes, you just can't say how they should react. And I'm not going to lie. <laughs> had it been my property, I would have been just as pissed as, as Michelle, just as pissed, just as pissed. I mean, that type of situation, there's more that could have been done had it been maybe a different landlord. I mean, the way that house was, I remember the video. I remember Michelle crying like it was so sad. Like, I remember her crying on camera. Um, she broke down because that house was told the hell up. Like, told the hell up. And I couldn't imagine going through what she went through. I mean, especially for somebody that was supposed to be your friend and just tear your house the hell up. Now, the the way the house was, I'm just like, damn, is that how he lives everywhere he goes? Or was this some type of retaliation? Um, Oh, is somebody on the phone? Oh, hold on, hold on. I think somebody's on the phone, y'all. Hold on. Because I unplugged the speaker because that elevator music be driving me crazy. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me put you on speakerphone. Okay. Hold on. Okay, you there? Hello? I'm here. Oh, I'm here. Hey. What's going on? Hi, Tommy. Not much. I watched a little bit of that video. Okay, and what you thought about it? I, you know, I thought it was funny. <laughs> but... A lot of people I think, did. <laughs> I think, you know, my thing is this. People were... You know, for them to say she was being harsh, mm -hmm. first of all, he's sitting here dragging people, so why she can't drag him? Yeah. Who is he that he can't be drugged? Second of all, no matter how you really feel about that little girl, that's a child. She's not in the entertainment world. Her parents are. I agree. So she should be totally left out of it. Mm -hmm. I agree. Um, 
And as far as dragging him, you know, he dragged everybody and their grandma up and down the street. So <laughs> Right, that's what I was so, saying. <laughs> who, who is he not to be drugged? I mean, but uh, I, I kind of feel like, you know, in this, in this landlord situation where he lived with her, isn't that kind of old? Well, yeah, I think it happened... I think it initially happened. Don't don't quote me on it, but I think it happened like in spring of like 2016 or something when it first happened. When she first started trying to get money from him, or you know, lawsuits. Or don't quote me on the date now, but I think it was around 2016, um, and she tried to get money from him, tried to get him to pay. Uh, and I guess allegedly she couldn't catch up with him, couldn't garnish him, something like that. So I know she had made a video, was that earlier this year, maybe around April or May or somewhere around there, where she had made the video about her getting her money. So mm -hmm. I do I do remember that it was around that time, I believe. But yeah, it, it's not brand new. It, it it's not brand new. It's not even from this year. It's like from because my thing is this, even after a while, you know, some you should just let go of. You you I mean you sued him, you put all his business out there, you won your judgment. Okay, let's move on. Let's aspire to do something else. What else is out there to be talked about? Mm -hmm. You know? This is, I mean, it's getting old, and I mean, after a while, it almost seems like bullying, you know? Mm -hmm. Now, that is something that, that I would call bullying. You, I mean, what else can you do to this man? I know somebody, You put all his business out in the street. I know somebody has said something. Who did I hear? I, I, girl, I watched so many videos. I was just like, oh, my God. They went from dragging... <laughs> They went from dragging funky like all oh, through the neighborhood and down the alley and through the woods to now going in on Michelle. And one person has said, and I don't, I didn't, I didn't write down these people names on these videos. Some of them I never heard of ever. I was just like, who this? Let me click on this video. And that one person said that she was being a um a poor winner. A poor winner. Yeah. Is that how you said? Is that what mm -hmm. you said? Poor, like poor sport. I know it was the opposite of poor sport. It had to be a poor winner. And I was like, I ain't never heard mm -hmm. of that term before, but. <laughs> I ain't neither, but I mean, it makes sense. I mean, it did make sense, but, you know, like a lot of people are saying, like I said, I mean, some people are thinking, oh, Michelle, you done been talking about this for so long. You done dragged Funky. You done showed the court papers. You done showed your receipt from the money you got back. Um, and, and, and they like, okay, <laughs> why else? What else is, why are you still talking about it? Some people it's just like, just drop it. But like I said, yeah. I mean, you can't never, t I mean, maybe she still, obviously she was still <laughs> I pissed off about it, but I, I mean, mean, I, I think that that's kind of like that's kind of like me and the situation with my yeah, with I, my sister. I was about to, I was about to bring that up, but I didn't want to bring it up because I was like, maybe oh, she'll bring no, it up, no. you know. I, you know, it's still hurtful, and you are upset because this is somebody who was once close to you, mm -hmm. and they have done something. I mean, totally wrong to you, but. At some point, you got to be like, you know what? I can't let this keep eating away at me. Because you sitting there, and you pissed off at night, and you hurt, and they sleeping good. Mm -hmm. You got to, I mean, you got to learn how to let it go and heal. Do, mm -hmm. do you, I mean, I put it like this. I'll never forget it. Right. I learned a, a, a very smart lesson from it. Yeah, because you went through kind of like the same thing Michelle went through, except it wasn't property per se, right. but it was still right. money owed to you, and I that would just break me, break me like you know some people they lend people money 
And it might be, you know, 50, it might be 20, 100. No, you know, I'm going to go with I know, and I know my, uh, my friend, she had loaned somebody recently. Well, not recently, but maybe about a year ago, like uh, $400 to pay their rent. And they never paid it back. And then recently, like very, very recently, asked her to borrow some more money. And she know what she takes? Well, she takes, um, I'm sorry, but when you owe people money and you never pay them their money back, you cannot ask them for another dime. So, sorry. Well, Send. And that's somebody she's known, like, basically all her life. Like, that's how close that was. So, I mean, again, even in your situation, like, you had talked about it publicly. I remember we talked about it on here before um, on Facebook. You know, we, t we talked about it publicly. And so some people might have been like, hey, you shouldn't be talking about that on Facebook. That's something you should say. But some people is like, you don't never know what to do if you've never been in those person's shoes. I mean, for me, it was, um, I needed to vent. Yeah, I was going to say that too. Venting I purposes. To, I, I, it was a, a, a cathartic moment for me just because hell, that was my best friend. That was my sister-in-law. <laughs> so, Typically, where I would go and <laughs> talk to her, well, hell, I'm talking about you. And, I mean, it wasn't no secret. She knew what I was saying about it because I texted her and I called her and told her. But, <laughs> uh, you know, just to be able to get it out and bounce it off of other people. And I, I can get that. I get that part where, you know, you... Well, you want to vent, or, uh, Facebook or and you want somebody to talk and, to, you know, to get an opinion, right. and figure out, you know, where everybody else headed and what they were doing in certain. I, I understand exactly what you're talking right. about. Right. I mean, some people put all their stuff on Facebook, but I no, mean, I, 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 yeah. <laughs> but you know, you like even when I talk to y'all on Facebook, I never put her name out there. Right. I never, I never did any of that. Yeah. And. I felt like that, now that is between me and her. Right. Yeah, because I have so, no idea so, so. the person name you're referring to. I just know that it happened. Right. Now, the, I mean, you know, the, the logistics of the story, yeah, I feel that all day long, but I'm not, I'm not out to do that. I mean, I could, hell, yeah, what's she going to do? <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, I'm grown. I'm above that. That's that's extra petty. Yeah. But, yeah, I mean, you know, in, in order for me to move on and to be a better me, I had to, you know, just just be like, you know, I, I don't understand why I had to pray on it. I had to leave it in God's name because it was eating me alive that somebody I wanted, you know, was so close to and would have done practically anything for to betray me like that. And I can understand where Michelle comes from yeah. in that situation. Well, you, you know, here I am. Yeah, do you have me on speakerphone? Yes. Yeah. Oh, can you turn just talking to because it, it keeps getting a lot of feedback. I just noticed all the feedback does. It's like little sharp noises and stuff. Oh, I'm sorry. It does. I don't Turn the uh, video off now. Okay. But no, you know, I understand where Michelle is coming from in that aspect. You know, just yeah. you helping somebody and then it turns out like, well, damn, you know, I'm I'm doing this to help you and then I get screwed. <laughs> right. And that's, I understand that too. You, I'm like, I mean, the video, I mean, you was... try to do something about it. You try to, you know, say, hey, you know, you, you try all these different avenues to make it right. And make payment arrangements. Um, right. right. You know, I know the struggle is real out here. $50 a paycheck. Exactly. You know, something. You're going to be understanding and, you know, working with them. You're still trying to keep that friendship. 
and you know they steadily basically spitting in your face and mm-hmm. it's after a while you're like hold on okay that's gonna, that's gonna be the last time that happens right. trust and believe well, now, how do you it's feel about the other stuff that people were talking about and, you know, what Michelle said on the live, like Funky allegedly um, smoking cocaine? What? Wait a minute. What do you do with cocaine? No, you don't smoke it, do you? You sniff it? I don't know. Sniff it, puff it. What do you do with it? <laughs> okay. I don't know. Girl, I don't know. <laughs> I, I say this. I put this. Allegedly, you know, he was doing that stuff. I had heard that because I never, I put like, I never really was into his videos. It was just, he just seemed too over the top. Like he was trying too hard. Mm-hmm. And it just wasn't, it wasn't my style. It wasn't my taste. Mm-hmm. Um, but even then, like a couple of years ago, I just looked at him and I'm like, this dude on something. I don't know what. But he on something. You said on something. And it ain't the Holy Ghost. But <laughs> it ain't that Holy Oh, that Holy Water. It ain't. <laughs> uh-uh. Uh-uh. He on that fire water. Go with him. Oh, my. But um, mm-hmm. uh, just, you know, you could, t- I mean, a lot of times you can tell the difference between somebody who is just overacting, you know, like, being over the top and somebody who wants something and you could look at the things that he was doing in his videos and how he was acting and this and that and see that he was on something um well you know what i never even i never i don't know maybe it was because i never heard of the allegations before but i just always thought he was just like you said over the, just I thought it was just extremely over the top. Cha, you know what I mean? Like yeah, yeah. You know, like very <laughs> just very I thought that was just his nature and I think it is, but like you said, you know, he's like over the top mm-hmm. and I don't know. It, it could be because of some other energies. <laughs> what is that? Energies. Right, right. <laughs> but, but, uh, <laughs> you said plural energies, <laughs> but you know. And as far as the HIV and now that I, I say she went too far with that because if that is that man's status, that's his status. That's for him to divulge that information. Mm-hmm. You see, that's like that's that's just like anything else that goes on with your body. That's for you to decide whether you want to tell somebody or not. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I mean, I should say publicly anyway. Right. Um, but to, you know, basically just broadcast it to the world, that's wrong. That's that's wrong on so many levels. Yeah, and that's why a lot of people I, I, were dragging her. They were like, oh my God, I see, you know, allegedly he got AIDS, allegedly he's smoking, um, snorting cocaine or whatever, sniffing. Um, now, she said she's seen him do yeah, that Yeah, she person. did say she's seen it um, with her own two eyes. But my thing is this, if eyes. you didn't say nothing then, why are you saying something now? You know what? If you didn't say nothing to him then, to say, hey, as a, you were supposed to be his friend, if you didn't say nothing to him then, why are you saying something now? Well, I did hear her say that his friends, associates, whatever, tried and tried and tried to get him help. And then remember when she was talking no, about somebody in um, to See, I don't know if she did or did not try to get him help because they were good friends. So I can't say she didn't. But I'm just saying yeah. she said that his friends um, tried to get him help, tried to take his drugs away from him, you know, stuff like that. Um, but you know, and that's the whole reason why I was like, hey, we went from Funky getting dragged, then we get to Michelle getting dragged for Dragon Funky. And I'm like, oh my God, it's like this big old circle. And a lot of people is like really upset with the AT alien right now. And so that's why I wanted to get you guys' feedback. Like, how do y'all feel? Do y'all feel she went too far? Do y'all feel like, you know, what he did to her? Um, 
gives her reason to be this angry. Like some people say she angry. I mean, at times when I was watching the video, I was like, damn, Michelle, ooh, you going in. And at times I was rolling. Like when she said, anything. when she said, where's the dog? Funny. To the APB out for the dog. What happened to the dog? Girl, I was dead. I was on the <laughs> flow. I mean, I was dead. I'm up here like, where is the dog? I'm like, forget APB on the dog. Put an APB on the wash and dryer. <laughs> I'm like, what? You can get the dog. I need to wash my right. <laughs> Girl, I was dead. I'm sorry, but I was dead. I was laughing so hard. I was all in the comments like, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm, I'm saying, uh, for the most part, I thought the video was funny. I mean, yeah. I, I, I can not say that maybe some things she probably, probably overstepped or probably, you know... <sighs> It was. I'm just like, like I said, you can't tell people how to <laughs> how to act when somebody does something to them. Like, how far can it's like? Okay, if somebody slap you, you can't say how how hard I should hit you back. I mean, right, if, if Michelle still wants to talk out. about this, I'm like this. Okay, everybody say all the time on YouTube. You can't tell people what to talk about on their channel. You can't tell people what to say on their channel. If you don't like them, unfollow them, unsubscribe. But do they? Nope. They say, I don't they say right there. Still pop up in my damn uh, in my feed. Tasha you, K. You unsubscribe for Tasha K? What? I thought you liked Tasha yeah. K. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. What had happened was. <laughs> I, what had happened was <laughs> my thing was this I had you know what when Tasha K had first started I mean it looked like she was filming out of her living room mm -hmm. and that's how long I had been watching her videos mm -hmm. way back when like when she first started and she was cool she was funny she wasn't as loud and as ghetto and and all of this other stuff mm -hmm. and then it wasn't until she she did the R. Kelly thing and she and it was just kinda like okay. And that's when she interviewed that young girl, right? Yeah, it was like you actually let me start before that. I kinda start falling off with her with the Usher thing. Okay. She was dragging that out about him having her herpes. Mm -hmm. then, then she drug the dog shit out of R. Kelly. <laughs> I mean She did. She like, did. <laughs> I remember. She did like 13 videos of him. It was like, dude, how long are you going to drag this story out? And when she did the Cardi B thing, that's when it, it did it for me. And I think that's when a lot of people not, also subscribe when, when it was Cardi B when she did that. Yeah. I'm not a Cardi B fan. I'm not a Nicki Minaj fan. I don't listen to neither one of them. Mm -hmm. But it was the fact that you were going in so hard on this woman that you don't even know. You don't know what this woman goes through from day to day. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And then when Cardi tried to, you know, she didn't even defend herself at first. She just slipped in Tasha's DM and was like, hey, you know, let's talk about this. You know, you haven't gotten my side of the story and Tasha was like, well, if you don't like it, then pull me in. Or, you know, son of a bitch then and blah, 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 going off. And it's like, wait a minute. How you going to get mad because the woman is telling you you only got one side of the story? Yeah. And then, even after the chick was proven to be a, first of all, you interviewed her and me knew none of that team. shit you were saying lined up. Do you, you still follow none of the right? You still follow um, Lovely T, the one who tried to um Oh yeah, I love Lovely T. I still follow T. Yeah, I like Lovely T. Yeah. I like the way uh, I'll get to that in a second. Okay. But she the way she went ahead and she was riding for Star Maria and this and that, it was like you know that is a liar. When they came out with receipts saying that she was a liar. I mean Cardi's friends is telling you, go on homegirl lovely T. Pulling out receipts, showing you, telling you 
This chick is a liar. You see, lovely T backed off of it because it wasn't making sense. And you went in it. And I mean, just kept digging into this woman's life and dogging her just constantly. With, uh, it was like, what do you have against her? What has she done to you? Who are I mean, like, who are you for her to, you know, to even know who you are? Well, some people allegedly were saying that uh, she was getting some kind of kickbacks or something from uh Yeah, Nikki. Uh, saying Nikki was saying her. Allegedly. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Allegedly. That's what I heard. I don't yeah, know if I that's true, of course, that but that's, that's what was going around, you know, on social media. And then for her to, because T had already had her platform. And, you know, she was already doing her merchandising and everything else. Because T is a hustler. T is a true hustler. And for her to basically stab her in the back and then just dissolve the friendship out of, you know, just, she was just real, it was real ugly. It was real messy. And it was like, it's like some kind of evil spirit over her. And I know people are like, what? But honey, trust me, you can look at some folks and see that they have (coughs) an evil spirit. And it seems like something has come over Tasha. I don't know. I don't, I don't even know if it's the, it could be the spirit of money, that greed. Because supposedly now um, she's working with some radio station, I believe. Yeah, I heard that and, she got some kind of deals and contracts. Going on why? To why? Her brand, as far as and so, right, right. And so now she basically has to be over the top. She's trying to be a shock jock. Right, yeah. Kind of like how it used to be. And that she is. And that she is. Right, right. But you know what? A lot of people follow her because they love the mess. They love the mess. Mm -hmm. I actually haven't watched her since, uh, oh, God. Maybe it was Cardi B, was it? It wasn't the beginning of Cardi B. It, It was, okay, I stopped watching, um... I think when her and Lovely T fell out, you know, after Lovely T was crying, and you remember that? Yeah. When she was in the hospital, and it was, like, so sad. I was in tears watching her cry. I'm like, I I think it was maybe Mm -hmm. a few weeks after that that I just kind of stopped watching her, and it was mainly because of, I I don't know, that yelling is irritating. Like, people nowadays got bells and whistles and drums and all kind of stuff in oh this show. God, and I'm like, oh. I'm like, oh my God, even if I turn the volume all the way down, they're like, rah, rah, rah. I'm like, okay, next. That's how mom was like, I, the, only, the only time I watched him was when he had interviewed um, Nene. Because uh, uh, that's what I watched him. Uh, I watched him when he had interviewed Simone. Nene Leakes. You know, I watched when he interviewed Mona Simone, and then I watched when he was interviewing Tasha. Mm-hmm. And I noticed how he was so disrespectful to Mona, and yet she was so gracious and so intelligent. And just, you know, she was just like, okay, I'm going to keep rising above, and I'm going to kill you with intelligence. Mm-hmm. And that's what she did, and I don't think he liked that because she wasn't falling for his bait. Uh-huh. But then he interviewed Tasha, and he was, girl, yes, and earn uh-huh, her money. And then what did she do? She turned around and stabbed him in the back, too. Oh. See, I didn't watch those. I had seen mm-hmm. something posted about mm-hmm. uh, NeNe Leakes' um, sons. Because uh, first, I think Michelle, I think she talked about it f- originally first, I think. And then I think he talked no, about I never it. Did get into I can, what I happened can. with Henry Well, okay. What had happened was um his <laughs> his uh alleged baby mama. Matter of fact, I did a video about it after I seen the Armand and Michelle uh show on it. But anywho, uh she had started like dragging Nene 
through social media because she was upset that Nene was not uh, spending time with her child or doing for her child or visiting her child or, you know, stuff that grandparents normally okay. do. And okay, she was dragging her all on social what? media. Right. She's a grandpa. And that's the whole thing. Everybody was like, she's the grandma. She and gotta do this and that. And that's you. allegedly because as far as we know, at that time, they didn't they had not taken a blood test yet. At that time, the girl admitted that. She was like, I, I petitioned it. I went down there, signed the papers. He never went down there. So I don't know what happened from then. I don't know if a test has been taken or if it's determined that it's his seed or not. Child, daughter, I think it was a daughter. I can't remember. Boy, girl, I can't remember. But, um, yeah, so first she was, like, dragging him on social media. Then I guess that wasn't really getting her nowhere. So she started dragging Nene um, and let it be known her baby daddy was um, Nene's son. And so then it started going, it just started spreading like wildfire, you know, on social media. Oh, this is Nene's son who ain't taking care of the child allegedly, not paying child support, you know, and that. that's what the girl was saying. And so people started, um, she started reaching out to people to do interviews. And so Nene heard about it and she called in to Armand Wiggins show and Nene was going off. Like, I don't even know if that's my grandbaby. I don't even know you. And woo -woo 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 -woo. then Nene uh, got on, hey, on Michelle's uh, show right after she talked to her. It was like the same night. <laughs> like right after one show, she went on the but other show. I, and I, again, I, she was like, I don't know who that girl is. I don't know if that's his baby or not. But regardless, like I said, because I even called into Michelle's show that night. Or maybe it was the show she had before that about Nene. But I called in. I'm like, no, that ain't her responsibility. Grandparents do what they're supposed to do. If they want to buy that baby anything, they'll buy that baby anything. If they want to take that baby on a shopping spree or keep that baby overnight, grandparents get to do what yeah. they want to do. That's the that's the it's thing. Funny. They You cannot tell a grandparent how to be a grandparent. <laughs> they would do yeah. what they want to do because it ain't our responsibility to take care of nobody else's child after we raised our own. You know what I'm saying? That's what basically everybody was saying, and Nene as well. But yeah, that's that incident. That 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 part. <laughs> yeah. but he, but yeah. He's very loud. He he to me, he's not a good interviewer just for the fact that he got all them loud ass sound effects and he's like talking over people. And Tasha does the same thing. But if you notice when she does interview people, like with that Star Marie interview, she was leading her. She already knew all the facts. She was leading her, trying to get answers and trying to make it juicier. And, it's, and it was like... Mm -hmm. That's what people yeah. are saying. They were saying she was being really biased. She was. And, and I mean, you know, to be... And then the funny part was she was, at that time, she was calling herself a journalist. But if you ain't got a degree... With, journal, with a journalist, with anything to say journalist on it. Uh, and then the, the way she interviews people, you can't talk all You got to let them, you can ask them a question. You got to let them respond. And you ain't supposed to agree with everything they say. Right. I'm not a journalist. So if I have people call here on live, I don't know how to act like no journalist. I'm going to just be like, okay, really? For real? Yep. Mm -hmm. What I heard was, I mean, I'll just like, it's just going back and forth, you know, back and forth. Well, now she's calling herself a blogger. Yeah, I which she is. Journalist. I, I can say she's a blogger. And that's what we all are, really, like vloggers with a V. We're video bloggers, vloggers. That's yeah, what they, yeah. ain't nobody on here journalist. Shoot, if you're a journalist, you can so, be on somebody's news channel or have your own you real blog, radio show, I'm, like real TV show. But like I said, she be uh, posting, I mean, she be coming up in my timeline and so when I like when she was uh doing her story on Walker Flocker, uh supposedly cheating on Tammy and this and that and going in and blah blah blah. Well okay, that's because you know, YouTube be referring you. They be like, I'll be people people I don't subscribe to. It'd be like next up, recommended, you know, by Why you know who are these people? How does it even get in my <laughs> Where did it come from? YouTube be making recommendations based off on other videos that you be watching. But she, um, 
she was talking about how she don't post people's kids on there. She don't put their page, their pictures on there, blah, blah, blah. Because Tammy had told her, you know, hey, you know, whatever. Do your story because Deb Anthony had jumped in, too. Walker's mom, and she was like, you know, why are you in their business? What's going on in your marriage? Oh. You know, why are you worried about that. somebody else? And, oh, yeah, Deb went off on her, and, and they sent her a cease and desist, and she was like, this is fake, and blah, 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 and I got lawyers to take care of it, and whoop, whoop. but then she had posted a picture of Walker, Tammy, and Tammy's daughter, uh -huh. and so she came back, because Tammy had told her, you know, keep my daughter's pay, keep my daughter's picture off of there, because she was talking about this little girl got contracts. She got three contracts with VH1, and you talking about a picture, and I ain't posting no pictures of nobody kid and this and that. And if you seen I done posted a picture, then show me, blah, blah, blah. Show, where the proof? I ain't did it. So I went through her page. Mm -hmm. And look at here. There's a picture of Tammy Walker and <gasps> little Charlie. Really? Yeah. I screenshot wow. it, and I emailed it to her. Wow, you emailed it to her, TK? I sure the hell did. <laughs> did she respond? She didn't respond. She didn't respond. Of course not. <laughs> oh I should admit that she wrong. Of course not. Oh my and God. Was did she so it wasn't that? just me. It was a couple of other people that, you know, point, they went and uh, took that picture too. And they was like, look, I done sent you the picture and this and that and blah, blah, blah. So... Instead of her, she, that's the thing. She's so prideful. She's so prideful. Instead of her saying, okay, you know, I made a mistake, you know, but hey, I did do it, you know, and my apologies, you, and, you know, tell me I took the picture down. Mm -hmm. She can't do that. She, well, I mean, the picture got posted, it slipped through, and that was a new person here that was working. And oh, they didn't it have on, and we it on the help. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Just like with all of that, uh, like the Star Marie shit, when she was found out to be wrong, all she had to do was apologize. But could she do that? Mm-mm. No, because and I'm people like, why don't are you trust so her word anymore? She went on the Cardi B campaign, and, and it was like she couldn't get off of it. She could not bring herself to apologize. For trying to ruin this woman's career. And the funny part, she did all of that. And Cardi was still having the best damn month ever. Living her best <laughs> life. Living her best okay. life. Okay. And Cardi I'm not even a... Uh, like, I'm not a Cardi B fan or Nikki. I mean, I'm not saying I don't like them. How do you say it? Like, okay, like, I'm not a huge... I'm not a beehive. I'm not a, you know, a huge fan of Bay. But I like some what? of her songs, but I never bought a CD. Now, when she was with... Well, I have uh, a couple of Beyonce CDs. I have not but, one. But when she was with um, Destiny, I got every single one of those CDs. But when I she got by herself, I was just like, you know, I just never got into her like that. It don't mean I don't like her. I don't think people mis misconfuse that. My thing is, why are y'all worshiping this woman? What, what is girl. it about her? Because to me, I mean, don't get me wrong. She can sing, but uh, Kelly sing way better. Kelly Kelly's does. just as beautiful, and Kelly can dance just as well. Mm. I do like Kelly. I did buy, I think she had two CDs. I bought both of her. <laughs> and I love yeah. that song that she made with Nelly. <laughs> Girl, I used, uh, I used to sing that to my son. I used to sing that side of that song. <laughs> it came out when my son was born, and I used to sing that to him. Just say, I'm looking, and I need you. <laughs> Your input is invalid. To join to the subconference, press number of subconference from 1 to 9. I guess press the star right. to respond oh, to the conference. Of anybody, but they just they go mm -hmm. overboard with that Beyonce, and it's like it's the fans, it's the fans, like the Nikki fans. It's like I made a video one day about fans how they be retaliating against, um, like okay, like the Bay, the Beyonce fans, how they retaliated against uh Funky. Like I was saying, what he did may not have been 
the best choice of words. It may have been distasteful, but it's like when he called what's him call his grandson, Kaya's grandson, retarded. I'm like, where's the backlash? Where's the uproar? Where's the right. angry fans? Where's the I mean and then it's like Beyonce, first of all, he's talking about a child and then it's second a child, of all, period. Call his child retarded. You know, even if the kid is retarded, who are you to say this? Mm-hmm. Why are you blasting a baby? What did this baby do to you? Yep. Now, if you pissed off at Kaya, go ahead. If you want to talk about her daughter or son or whoever had the baby, go ahead. But leave this child out of it. Because, see, they better than me because, honey, I found you. (laughs) Everybody can be found. Oh, my goodness. (laughs) Girl, you know how I am about kids. I I know, too. A lot of people don't play when they come to their kids, for real. And I'm just like, okay, a kid is a kid. I don't care if one of their parents is richer than the other parent. It's it's not wrong to talk about one child. It's not wrong to talk about another child. That's the only thing I was saying. I'm not trying to give him a pass. I'm just saying, if you're going to be mad, y'all should have been mad. Maybe if y'all would have been that mad that you are now when it was Kaya's child, maybe this would have never happened. One, one, one kid over the other, they both kids. Right. Why are you protecting, you know, what's so special? I mean, you know, once again, what's so special about Blue Ivy other than her parents? Her parents are rich. And it's like, like I said, if it was like, I think if the outrage was poured out when he had talked about Kaya's grandson, it, it would never got to Blue Ivy because he would have been like, oh, snap, okay, maybe I need to reel it back. Um, don't do this, Funky, you know. <laughs> but because of people now, letting him I talk about say, people, he kept doing it. The one thing I will say, though. <laughs> what? Like, oh, my God. <laughs> oh, Lord, oh, Lord, what? You know me. Oh, my God. Hey. The little girl is kind of funny looking. Oh, oh. And you look like that camel on that cigarette package. You know what I heard somebody say today? Somebody yeah. said, somebody said, Jay Z is not ugly. He He's not ugly. He's not maybe the finest, but he has the sexiest swag. And I was like, okay. Yeah. Okay, he got that sexy swag. I was like, okay. And they was like, sure, you never know. Beyonce might not be all in appearance and all that. He might be giving it to her in the boom, boom room. You never know. He, there, There's probably other reasons why she find him uh, attractive. Attractive. And then that money, that bank account, th- that bank account helps. <laughs> yes, yes, that bank account helps. Once they got together, oh, they came up real quick. <laughs> oh, my gosh. But, yeah, I thought that was so funny. They was like, he ain't ugly. He's just not the most attractive. But he got that sexy swag going on. I was like, okay. Mm-mm. Okay. Mm-mm. But, you but said, then there are some cute people that just like, you know, I hate to admit it. Like, my kids, that dad, he is a very good-looking chocolate man. And he got that swag, but he is a ass hole. Oh Lord, I didn't have them before. I didn't have them before. Man, so doggone sexy, but they are like the worst guy you would want to date. Right, like and so it just, um, you know, I would literally we would go out sometimes, and and women would be. And, you know, you know, making little noises towards him, and I'm like, well, you just don't know. You, baby, you ain't got to cut your eyes at me. You can have him. Uh uh-uh. uh. And you go to him. Girl, <laughs> see, that's why. That's why when I date guys, I, I they got they got me semi fine, semi fine. Not they don't look too good. They don't look too bad. Just put it right down yeah, the middle. Yeah, but I can't ugly, dude. Right down the middle. I, I, <laughs> I've said in my, I was like, you know, I'm going to start dating, because I've only dated pretty boys. Uh-huh. I've always dated pretty boys, but it was like, okay, I'm going to start trying to look for a dude that ain't that fun, and this, but I can't, because I, I got to be able to look at you. 
<laughs> and I mean, look at you without making that face like something stink, you know? <laughs> Girl, I'm up here trying to find my, um, I'm up here trying to find my, uh, long one so I can log into my conference caller. I can't even tell if, like, other people are on the line. I don't know. Lord. I think I would be able to hear them if they were on the line, right? You have been a long one. Girl. I've been learning how to do it on my cell phone. Quit playing. Girl, I'm up here like, okay, I don't know. <laughs> Hopefully, they, if they're on the line, or they'll comment in the chat or something. Comment in the chat if you're waiting online. I don't know how it works too well. But anyway, um, I love you. But I'm like, uh, love you too. I know it just came on, and I told my, uh, I told, at the beginning of the live, I said, um, this live going to last to about 7 o'clock because Empire come on, and I'm definitely going to have to do a review on, um, have you been watching my reviews on Empire, girl? Uh-uh. Well, I, you have to. Like, uh, we gonna have to talk because I, well, you know, kind of what's been going on with me. Yeah, so. yeah. I done had some. Oh, had that some part. Food. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So <laughs> I might have to hit going. you up after Empire then. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Most definitely. <laughs> okay. Well, after after Empire go off, um, is that the only show that come on tonight? Because Greenleaf, well, Star, on after Star okay, after Empire and Star, I will hit you up. Yeah, yeah, let me get this little girl out of my bed, because she is in my bed, in my spot, sleep. <laughs> okay. Wrapped up uh, in my blanket. <laughs> get out of my bed. I miss those days, I miss those days, kind of, mm -hmm. kind of. <laughs> you really tired, well, you know what, go be really tired in your bed, in your own self bed. Mommy, love you most of all. Get out of my bed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, have mercy. Uh -uh. I love my baby. I know. Well, girl, okay. <laughs> I'm about to get off this hair and, and wrap this up. I don't think nobody else is calling in, so I had opened up the phone lines, but. <laughs> <laughs> the doors of the church are open. The doors of the church about to be called. Last call for alcohol. Last call for alcohol. Shoot. I'm so done with you. <laughs> I mean, I'ma just give people some advice. Don't let Matty make you any drinks. <laughs> because that's why Folky was probably too tipsy and didn't realize that he had said that about you know their baby. Mm, but mm, mm. Blue Ivy, well, I don't think I don't think you're ugly, Blue Ivy. I don't think I I I I am trying to love the kids. Kind of I'm trying to love the kids. You know, she she does she looks she looks a lot older, a lot mature than you know, young than kids probably her age might look. So I can I can definitely she, see that, but she does she looks a lot better than she used to. And uh, I mean she's not uh uh ugly. Yeah, because I didn't see some kids that I'm like, okay, um, you know, like like I was saying before, you cannot, I mean, if you say you have never looked at a child a certain way, that you, I mean, people just be lying sometimes, just be truthful. You might not have said it out your mouth that that child was, you know, but... I mean, well, it, you know me, it is what it is. We're human. We might not should well, say it publicly or on a public platform. There's certain things that we probably shouldn't say because people will dig you a grave and throw you in it. But um, like I said, the beginning I think of my that would life, be a good show for you to do. What? Lies people tell. Oh. <laughs> Lying, that one would be... Um, I'd be like, quit lying to people, tell them they look good in that outfit, because you know good and you know well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, I was thinking about having some theme days. Like, a lot of people have theme days. Theme days. I can't even talk theme days. Blame it on the gap. <laughs> Blame it on the gap. <laughs> Blame it on the gap. <laughs> but a lot of people have theme days. And um like Monday this, Wednesday this, Friday this, Saturday this. I gotta think of some themes, so you might be able to help me with that. Like I was know. gonna say, yeah, we, we can we can we can talk about that. Yeah. So that'll be cool. Yeah. That'll be cool. You know, just trying to switch it up a little bit, you know. Right. 
But anywho, I certainly thank you for calling. I love it when you call. You always, you know, give us, you know, a lot of different, a lot. Of <laughs> we always go off on some different. I know things. it's like we we start off talking about folk. You be end up talking about TK and about uh, Nini and everybody else. So yeah, yeah so yeah, <laughs> that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> but you have a wonderful night and again put the baby in the bed so we can talk later on. <laughs> right. Okay. <laughs> All right, call me later. All right, love you, girl. Love you too. All right. Bye bye. Okay. I don't think anybody else is on the phone line. Let me double check. Yeah, nobody else is on the phone line. So, I guess we're just going to wrap this up. You guys, make sure, um, if you didn't like the video, um, press the like button on the video. And also, make sure you share the video. Make sure you subscribe if you are not already a subscriber, please. And thank you very kindly. Um, I enjoyed talking to you guys tonight. and enjoyed the caller. Um... Basically, to wrap this up, because I do want to, I want to watch my TV shows, but then there's some of my favorite uh, people just came online on YouTube, so I don't know what I'm about to do. But anywho, you guys, I'm going to wrap this up. I'm going to just leave one recommendation for everybody, for everybody. Kids are off limits. Kids are off limits. I don't care what they look like, what you think about them. Their hair, their eyes, their feet, their nose, their mouth, their teeth. Kids are off limit. Kids are off limit. So um, that's that's something that people should already know, but it's a lesson learned. Um, I'm sure Funky he realizes his mistakes. He realizes what he's done wrong. Hopefully, it will never be another incident like with Kaya's grandson. It won't be another incident like Beyonce's baby um, daughter um, or with any other children. And that's from anybody, not just him. Because we we even seen people get dragged through uh, YouTube streets, social media, um, people, kids, young and old, teenagers, babies, infants. We didn't seen it. We didn't heard it. Kids are off limits, y'all. Kids are off limits. And also, just be careful what you say on here. Um, it's, it's, I know we want to be open with our followers, with our subscribers, and we want to give them bits and pieces of us beyond the commentary. But you always have to be careful how much you share because people will throw it right back up in your face and they will use it to tear you down. Um... I know with like Justin J, with him being open on his channel and uh, revealing the fact that he had is HIV positive. Um, for for a lot of people, they might have you know gave him his props and everything. Oh, you know that's wonderful that you can say something like that. And I mean, because in retrospect, I think it is a good thing that he did that because it probably make other people open up to maybe their families and friends. They're like, okay, if he can do it on social media and thousands and thousands of people, you know, are watching and sharing, you know, maybe I can at least open up to my family open up to my friends, to my children, you know, to the people closest to them in their life. Um, but on the flip side, on the flip side, some people out here are just so evil, like so evil. There's another guy on here who admitted that he had AIDS. I mean, not AIDS, but HIV. I can't remember his name. He's an older guy with glasses. I watch his channel from time to time. I can't remember his name, but, um, Mm, I can't remember his name, but he's admitted that he's HIV positive before, and I didn't see videos of people talking about him in a negative way about that status. So sometimes it's like you can't win for losing. So you have to be careful what you share on your channel. And then again, on the flip side, 
you can't really tell a person what to say or what to talk about on their channel. So it's like I said, sometimes it's like you can't win for losing. You can't win for losing. But anyway, you guys, um, I hope you have had enjoyed the video. Um, I just wanted to touch bases on several th different things to hear y'all guys' um, angle, um, to hear, you know, what you thought about what has been going on. Again, I don't have a dog in a fight. Um, I listen to funk. I, like I said it before, I listen to funky, not maybe not all his stuff, but like mainly his reviews, because that's what I normally do is reviews on TV shows. So you, I like listening to other people, you know, after I do my reviews, I like checking out other people reviews. Um, I listen to Michelle AT Elian all the time. Um, Maddie, I like her Monday night, uh, Queens court. Kaya, I don't listen to her as much anymore because Kaya don't, I don't know. I think Kaya's on a hiatus or something, but, um, I used to listen to Kaya, but again, I think she's on a hiatus. I don't know. I need to go put out an APB for Kaya, <laughs> but, um, uh, listen to who you want, you know, listen to who you want and be careful what you share. And if you do share something, don't be surprised if somebody uses it against you. That's all I can say. But anyway, you guys have a wonderful night. Um, have a safe, wonderful Wednesday night. Um, I probably will be back with you guys tomorrow to definitely review um, Empire, which should be a good show tonight. So I'm going to have to rewind my DVR so I can get on to that. But anyway, in the meantime and in between time, prime time squad, make sure you guys share, like, and subscribe and stay safe. Be blessed. And I'm out.